Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and we have a little bit more of the Asian swing to go this year. Of course, it's not the big Asian swing that we're used to seeing, but we do have a staple in the Asian swing of past years in the Japan Open happening this week. And we've got some big names playing, but some big names have pulled out. So let's go to the withdrawal list. So having a look at the four withdrawals here, and we've got Brooksby, he's pulled out. Giron has also pulled out. Souza and Alexander Zverev has pulled out. And we all know that we won't see Zverev potentially for the rest of the year. So unfortunately, if Zverev won't be playing this event, we don't know when we'll see him again. Having a look at the top of the draw here, and nobody gets a buy in the first round. We have eight seeds. In this one, with Casper Ruud, the number one seed, he takes on Munair in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Martinez or Poprin in the second round. Then we've got McDonald taking on Uchida. Winner of that match takes on either Kwon or the number six seed, Diminor, in the second round. Then we've got the number four, Tiafo taking on Uchiyama. Winner of that match takes on either Daniel or Morales in the second round. Then we've got Kecmenovic takes on Nishioka. Winner of that match takes on either Albert. The number eight seed, Evans, in the second round. So if we're going to talk about potential matchups, in the next couple of rounds, we can see maybe Rude versus Diminor in a quarterfinal, or Tiafo versus Evans. But you gotta watch out for Nishioka. Had a very good week this week, and he did actually beat Dan Evans along the way uh, to the final this week in Korea. So maybe he can make a surprise. And of course, Rude versus Tiafo, that could be the semifinals. Of course, made very good runs at the US Open, both those guys. So that could be a really fun semifinal as well. Having a look at the bottom half of the draw and the return of Nick Kyrgios. He's the number five seed. He will play Seng in the first round. Very fun to see Keegs back in action after the US Open. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Matrizak in the second round. Then we've got Chorich taking on Quali. Winner of that match takes on either Duckworth on the number three seed Fritz in the second round. Then we've got the number seven seed Shapovalov taking on Johnson. Winner of that match takes on a qualifier because we've got two Qualies going at it in the first round. Then we've got Nakashima taking on Mochizuki. Winner of that match takes on either Kokonakis or the number two seed Nori in the second round. Tough first round for Cam Norrie, but could get some interesting matchups in the quarterfinals. Potentially Kyrgios Fritz could be a really fun matchup. Then we got Chapo or Norrie in the quarterfinals potentially, uh, or we could even get something like Norrie versus Kyrgios in the semifinals, Fritz versus Norrie in the semis. I mean, there's some really interesting matchups in this one. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? Of course, Kyrgios is going to be on the radar. Tiafo, maybe he can win the biggest tournament of his life after having a very impressive couple of months winning the Labor Cup for Team World and also making the semifinals of the US Open. Or maybe Kasper Ruud can further prove that he can play on hard courts by making a run here. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event?